Alright guys, so today we're gonna react to more humongous muffins. Uh, <laughs> it is it is pretty fun reacting to these and just seeing the crazy eating habits people have where they're in constant denial that they don't look good. But I mean, th they're bringing this upon themselves. 99% of these people are bringing all of this upon themselves. They're playing victim. They don't care about losing weight or anything in that nature. And it's just really sad. And I understand if I may hurt the 1% who actually have an extreme condition where they can't change it. But most of these people are just not taking care of themselves. This is like the most obese we've ever been in America. And the number just keeps growing larger and larger. And yeah, if I go outside, right, I can see so much McDonald's, Taco Bell, Burger King. There's all these bad temptations that are more easily accessed. And it's so much easier to be huge. Uh than the other years but that still doesn't make an excuse for you being huge you still can eat healthy you still could exercise go to the gym go for walks there's still multiple ways where you can get fit and just blaming it on all the other things around you is still going to lead to heart disease you're still going to get diabetes you're still going to live a shorter life and you're not going to look good at the end of the day so it's very sad i think i reacted to this before but this guy says glutton so this guy is like you know supporting that these people are obese but he's like showing the perspective of what these other tiktokers are sh saying in cl cut up clips so we can't hear the full context but this is just some people who are promoting it it is okay to be fat watch me glorify obesity what i eat in a day obesity promoter so there's a lot of things wrong first guy he's just saying it is okay to be fat i would never ever ever tell anybody that it is okay to be fat i understand your problems and that some people may be fighting to to go against that but saying it's okay to be fat is is the same thing as saying it's okay to be a loser it's okay to not be you know trying your best to be good at every single thing that you can do whether you, if you're going to school right you don't want to say it's okay to get c's it's okay it's okay just you know as long as you're passing you're, 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 you're trying right but it's like if you really want to be good at learning something like you actually care about school and it's something that you actually care about then why would you be just satisfied with getting a c even though it's just passing wouldn't you want to get the a so that you can be able to have all the knowledge in your head and show that you're smarter than all your other classmates if you're in sports right let's just say you're trying to be the best at basketball oh it's okay that you're not scoring as much points or you're not uh contributing that much to the team as far as the star player like that if that doesn't make you mad and you're satisfied with just being under the top person why would you even want to get better and, and that's the whole thing about it is okay to be fat like the this guy is on the verge of diabetes, and he's helping other people be on the verge of diabetes, and it does not look good. I mean, I assume this is a guy, because it looks like he has makeup on. But, watch me glorify obesity just by being happy with my body. Glo like, they're telling you in their face that they're glorifying obesity. It says, watch me glorify... Like, they just don't have shame. And this is what gets me mad. Not that big people exist. It gets me mad that they are happy glorifying <laughs> what I eat in a day obesity promoter that eats 1,500 calories. If I eat 2,000 calories a day, right? That's what? Seven days? She's eating more than seven days worth of food in one day. In one day. What is wrong with her? I don't think she's being sarcastic because she's showing her stomach and she's laughing. Just a black woman existing and promoting obesity and she has to throw in the word black because she wants to make it a racial issue when it's not. And she's still, like, her, her shirt represents, she's still stuck in a kid's mindset. She's wearing a dinosaur shirt. It looks like pajamas. I hope she has, like, shorts or something on. That's not body body positivity. You're just promoting obesity. I mean, for the most part, yeah. Don't don't stop putting on so much makeup and trying to make your big body look good. Lose weight. Simple. If you're if you can't lose weight in time, you're going to a wedding or like you have to take pictures or something. Okay, cool. You can still look your best while you're fat. But at the same time, you shouldn't want that to be your end goal and just 
and just be with it. It just, it, it makes no sense, man. Thanks, fat people do versus what we actually do. Well, I've already emailed Debra. What they think we do. Well, I've already emailed Debra my three point plan of promoting obesity. My three point plan of promoting obesity. Um, I would suggest you and the rest of the team uh, follow those steps and then we can get everyone to be as fat as us. What we actually okay, so obviously they're not just you know getting behind and having this master plan. Oh, let's let's figure out how we can make the mass population obese so that we can ruin humanity. No, we don't think that at all. We just know that you struggle with the ability to succeed in your fitness and health goals. Now, what is this? Just existing? Like, stop just existing and standing there. Do something. Instead of posting this on TikTok, go to the gym. This is gym time that you're wasting. Posting for, I don't know, 1,500 likes, chubby mermaids, terrifying thin people since the 80s. So she loves terrifying and making the skinny people mad instead of actually realizing that they have a point. Instead of spending all that money dyeing your hair different colors, because I know that was expensive. Uh, what's it called? Because, like, my I dyed my hair black, right, again, on one side, and the other side was, like, blonde, and it was, what, like, 150 160 and then plus shampoo, which is $200 I spent on my dye, and she's dyeing her hair different colors on top of that and getting piercings and stuff. All that stuff that you could be using... Instead of putting it on your face, you can buy a gym membership. You have no excuse. And that takes time to do all that stuff. So instead of using that time, using time to put, I don't know, makeup on your face every day, use that time to be healthy. It's like you're just showing that you have no time or you're using your time for stupid things. What the internet? Like, it's just, it's, it's right there, man. And this is why I have no sympathy because like you're just showing that you don't care. Reacting to hate comments I get while being a fat person on the internet since you guys love the last one. Being fat scares me. Well, girl, boo. Is your whole personality trait being fat? No hate, just asking. Well, considering no matter what I post, people body shame me. I might have- Well, you're posting- I mean, this is just a simple sandwich with cheese. So I, I can't really say that. But if you're posting a bunch of food over and over and eating, and you're huge- I would assume that people would make fun of you. Uh, well, I mean, not as much anymore because, but you're so pretty. I love you, beautiful girl. Girl, you're beautiful. Get off TikTok. They're lying to you. They are lying to you. They, for some reason, think that it's okay for you to still receive love even though you're huge. And yeah, we can still love you as a valuable person, but us telling you that you need to lose weight is a form of love because we're telling you the harsh truth that is going to get you better at the end of the day. It is, and hey, th the truth hurts a lot, but I'd rather live in truth instead of live in delusion and think I look good when I don't. And that's that's what these people don't understand. Um, this. You rejected diet culture and live your best life as a plus-size girl. Stop eating bread. You look so unhealthy for your age. You just have no willpower. I mean, that's the truth. Like I said, you're spending money buying whatever this is. I don't think it's a donut. Some type of uh, cow's burger spread? I don't know. But, like, you're going out into probably another place to visit. <laughs> Her thing says promoting obesity since 1993. Plus size edition. Hashtag diet coach. Hashtag self love. So you're doing this because you don't care about losing weight. And that's what really makes me mad. But upsetting these people are in straight delusion sad reality but it is what it is maybe we just can't change everybody but at the end of the day stop being fat